Okay, so what you're seeing here is the Visual Basic program that I got to run the um, track drive motor for telescope control. This is just a little test program and what it's got is uh, my uh, CAN messages that I'm sending for CAN open, controls to start it, enable the drive, get into this mode, currently set at zero speed. This is the current current that's being consumed. Sorry, and this is where we're at. Um, and then here you can see in this diagnostic here are the CAN messages. These are uses the SDO object and reply to do most of the control. So let's give it a little bit of a position update or speed update here. Let's go to say 500,000 units. Those are going to be encoder ticks. Okay, now you can see the drive's going a little faster. Um, another thing you'll notice is that the torque is quite high. But if I try to stop it, I really can't. It's hard to see, but I can't really stop it. And the other neat thing about these drives is that when it gets into a zero position, it's going to hold. So. If we go back down to zero on the speed, it might be hard to see. And this is our, you can see our position there in uh, arc seconds there. If I go and I push on the, the disc, the shaft, it's going to automatically come back. So that one says it ends in 80.82 arc seconds. I try to push on that thing and then go back here see it's it moved back is 81.0 80.9 80.95 and so the current went up a little bit and then it kind of it drove itself back to the original position that's one of the really cool advantages of this direct drive system